The false killer whale's species name means thick-toothed. For a while, these cetaceans were known as the thick-tooth grampus. Who else is in favor of calling them this again? Grampus is actually the genus name for the Rissos dolphin. These mammals are closely related to false killer whales. Some other names for the false killer whale include the Tasmanian blackfish, Katsaka, the Lincolnshire killer, and false orca. In March 1906, a pod of several hundred false killer whales stranded themselves on a beach of Chatham Island. By December of 1909, the remains were still there and used to identify the species. In other stranding events, biologists have found upwards of 50 thorny-headed worms lodged in a false killer whale's gut. These parasites were likely passed on from an intermediate fish host. False killer whales have been used to study hearing loss in species that use echolocation. It's believed that animals adapt the frequency of their calls to best match their range of hearing. False killer whale breeding has successfully produced offspring in captivity, and these dolphins have been housed in aquariums in Japan, the Netherlands, Hong Kong, Australia, and the United States. Because false killer whales sometimes steal fish from commercial and recreational anglers, the dolphins are persecuted by humans seeking revenge. Some studies suggest that run-ins with fishing gear, specifically longline fishing equipment, can leave some false killer whales with permanent dorsal fin injury, with one extreme example resulting in complete amputation of the fin. The false killer whale was first described in 1846 from a fossil specimen that was likely 2 to 5 million years old. The whales weren't seen alive by scientists until 15 years later, and many still believed them to be extinct well into the turn of the century. You've also probably heard that false killer whales skin fish, share their food, and have grandparents. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full False Killer Whale episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.